All right, hopefully your section four problems went well and didn't take you too long. We're moving on to something a little less draining. Section five is on one and two step equations. The first thing you need to know is the goal of any equation. The goal of any equation is to figure out the value of the variable by getting it alone. So you'd like to get the variable alone on one side of the equation. Get in the habit of showing your work because next year no work equals no credit. So I understand that a lot of you could do these problems in your head, but next year when you have these, they're going to be fractions and decimals and positives and negatives and you won't be able to just do them in your head. So we need you to have the process written out. So show all of your steps. Trust us. All right. So you can solve any one step equation by doing the opposite of whatever is being done to the variable. And just want to talk for just a second. The reason it's called a one step is because there is one thing that's being done to the variable. So when we get to two steps in a minute, can you guess how many things are being done to the variable? Not 10. No, it's two. So one step equation, x plus two equals 23. All right. So here's my x. I want to get x alone. That means I want to get rid of this 2 that's being added to it. The opposite of adding 2 is subtracting 2. Now, I always draw a line down from the equal sign because whatever you do on this side of the equal sign, you have to do on that side of the equal sign as well so that it stays balanced. So the opposite of adding 2, we're going to subtract 2 from each side. And when you have 2 minus 2, that of course is 0. X is left all alone. 23 minus 2, that's 21. And you're done because X is all by itself. It's a lonely thing, solving equations. Y minus 8 equals 27. I'm going to draw my line down. Okay, 8's being subtracted from Y. The opposite of subtracting 8 is adding 8. So whatever you do to this side to get the Y alone, you need to do to this side as well so that it stays equal to each other. So Y would equal... When you take 27 plus 8, you get 35. Right. For multiplication and division, you'll notice, I'm sure you have had some experience with this so far, that when you have 5 and a variable right next to each other, that means that multiplication is happening. So n is being multiplied by 5. So you might be thinking, what's the opposite of multiplying by 5? You guessed it, divide by 5. I'm going to draw a line, just like Mrs. Trombley. You'll learn soon enough that we're essentially the same person. So, <laughs> the opposite of multiplying by 5. I'm going to divide this side by 5, and by doing that, I end up with 5 divided by 5, which makes 1n, which is the exact same thing as just plain old n. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So n equals 5. All right. Any fraction is a division problem. This is, looks like a fraction, but it means that n is being divided by 7. The opposite of dividing by 7, you ask? Yep, multiplying by 7. I'm going to use a little dot to show multiplication. So by multiplying by 7, then that means that I am undoing dividing by 7. And I'm sure you've seen this cross-canceling action before. I'm just going to go ahead and do it now and get you used to that. So now literally, do you see that n is all by itself? So that means I have to multiply 5 by 7 as well, because that's what I did on the other side. That makes 35. So n is 35. All right. Down here we have two-step equations. Like Mrs. Trombley said, it's called a two-step equation because that means two things are happening to the variable. We are going to remove any number that is being added or subtracted to the variable first, and then we're going to undo any multiplication or division. So if you look at this first problem, it says 2x plus 2 equals 24. Our goal is to find out what x is. So we're going to get rid of everything over here that's happening to the x. So up there it said get rid of anything that is being added or subtracted first. So I want to get rid of this plus 2. Your goal is to get to the variable. It's like a present. It's the prize. So think of it as like unwrapping a present. Like the last thing you would do is take off the bow. The first thing you do is take off the paper. So we're going to get rid of this right here. Opposite of adding 2 is subtracting 2. So that literally just goes away. We'll do the same thing over here. 24 minus 2 is 22. But look what I literally have left over here. I have 2 times x. Now, it's a little one-step equation. The opposite of multiplying x by 2 would be to divide by 2. And that makes 1x, or just plain old x. And the opposite, or I'm sorry, I'm going to divide by 2 here. What's 22 divided by 2? 11. X is 11. 
All right, look at our next one. I want to get rid of subtracting 8 first. So I'm going to add 8, and that goes away, and I'm going to add 8 over here. So I'm left with 3 times y equals 22 plus 8 is 30. Not done yet. Something times 3 makes 30. I know you can do this in your head, but like Mrs. Trombley said, just show us your work. It takes two seconds. Just do it. 3 divided by 3 is 1y, or just plain old y. 30 divided by 3 is 10. y equals 10. All right, two left in this section. We have n, fifth, n over 5 plus 10 equals 14. Again, first thing we want to do is get rid of the number that's being added, and 10 is being added, so to undo that, we're going to subtract it. 10 minus 10 is nothing, zero, and fifths is left. 14 minus 10 is four. So now we have one more step left. N is being divided by five, so to undo, divide by five, we're going to multiply by five, and whatever I do over here, I have to do over here. So n is the only thing left, 4 times 5 is 20, and n is alone, so we're done. All right, n sevenths minus 1 equals 5. Again, this 1 is being subtracted, that's the first thing to go. To undo subtracting that 1, we're going to add 1, and these are gone. n sevenths is all that's left, and 5 plus 1 is 6. Now n is being divided by 7. To undo dividing by 7, we do the opposite and multiply each side by 7, n is equal to 42. All right, finish your Section 5 problems. We'll see you shortly for Section 6.